I made the hole too big for my door lock, so I'm going to fill it with uh, this stuff, Durham's water putty. I put some of this water putty onto a plate and I mix it with a uh, screwdriver. Now I'm using the same screwdriver and I'm just going to fill in the space as best I can, but I get it in all the areas that I made that I made too big. I could have used a putty knife. Now I'm going to remove the excess and wait for it to dry. Now I've got a flat edge. Still haven't found my... Then I'm going to clean it up with a wet paper towel. Now inside, I'm just going to make it as flat as possible with a little wood chisel. I'm going to cut along the uh, edges and try and release it very gingerly. Yeah, now I'm going to try to release it. A good way to smooth the sides is with a small utility knife. You can knock off any imperfections in the back with a, uh, a flathead screwdriver. But you should wear safety goggles because these blades break off, fly everywhere. You can clean it out with a small brush. Now I'm going to do a little bit of light sanding before I paint it. I wrap the sandpaper around a flat, small flat board. Now I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to put my cover plate back on. I'm knocking off some excess off of the inner, inner plate. Now I'm screwing in the face plate and a couple taps. A couple taps from a hammer help it to seat right into the groove that it was in before. So now I'll screw it in and it's a pretty nice job.